Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Babsy here, getting this channel up and running. Finally, the beauty basics with Babsy, I know. I was supposed to start this channel like last year, and I opened it up and was ready to go, and then I hit a brick wall. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what that brick wall was, you need to go and subscribe to my reality channel and see what I went through last year. You will understand why this shit is happening so late. So the reason I wanted to put this channel together originally was because um, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not a hairstylist, but I am an entertainer and travel a lot and I ran into a lot of problems where at the ninth hour, this makeup artist who was referred to me jacks up my makeup, does not do my makeup correctly and I have to wash my face off and then find a solution within 10 minutes to go out on stage to perform in front of some Bajans. So you know that that ain't no easy task. So things that I learned along the way and understanding my own face and my own skin and my problems is why I put this channel up because I started to realize when I would be googling like you know the issues that I'm having I never saw them there. So as a woman of color foundation is probably one of the biggest problems out here for us because there are no colors, ranges, our undertones and all this stuff is so jacked up and it's like these companies, especially like the um, drugstore ones, you know, they don't really make a lot of colors for people in um, my color shade category so it, there's a problem. So as a child, um, you know, I grew up and despised makeup. And I'll tell you why. Because I used to see my cousins and family members with their makeup on and they always had this gray cast in their face and I could not stand to see that. That little Richard effect, that's what I call it, where it's like, you know, their eyeshadow's great, but the, the foundation doesn't match them. And I know back in the 80s, there would have been less um, selection than there is now. So I kind of grew up not liking makeup. Uh, why I started to wear foundation maybe about three years ago is because as Babsy, the blogger, I started to realize like, okay, when I blog in the winter in my house, I'm good. But when the summer, I'm starting to look greasy. Now, my, oil, my skin type is greasy. It's not oily or it's not combination, it's greasy. So dark skinned women suffer from this because of the color of our skin. We will shine even more when we are oily. So that's greasy. So there would be times I'm seeing myself and I look like I rubbed down with some margarine and some lard oil. Like nah, 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 nah. So I started wearing black powder and stuff like that, but then I realized as these cameras got better and better over the last five years, when I would be taking selfies with people, you know, back in the day, you know, there was pixels and grains issues. Now they spanking clear and I'm like, oh, so yeah, I'm not looking too cute underneath this uh, camera now, so I need to go fix my ass up. So. I want to let you know that the suggestions that I have are the ones that I use for myself um, for the foundations that I wear. I don't wear the same foundation for the same occasion. So that was one of the things I needed to learn. Um, in picking foundations, especially for a person who's darker, I suggest that you bring somebody with you the first time that you go to select a color. And uh, preferably a person with eyesight. <laughs> preferably a man, because a man would be like, girl, that don't match. You know what I mean? Um, you would be better off going into a higher end department store and having somebody apply different um, swatches on you because that lighting and this lighting and uh, your makeup's gonna look different under particular lights. Um, and on top of that, you wanna get some samples so that you can at least wear that makeup for the week, try it out, see how it works on your face, try a different primer with it, you know, and I have some primers that I swear by. Um, if you wanna know what primers I use, because I didn't wanna make this video too long you need to get some of your friends to subscribe to my channel and you need to give me some thumbs up and some comments and some likes you understand what I'm saying so um, I will do a primer video probably next week if you want to see that but for now I'm just gonna give you the rundown version of the foundations that I use low end to high end again I'm just giving you solutions I'm not here trying to push any brands on you I'm not sponsored by any of these companies as well as I'm just giving you the solution I'm not trying to give you the cheapest or the most expensive, I'm just giving you a solution that may work for you. So just understand that. And um, again, lower end to higher end, you're going to start to see um, you know, differences in a higher end foundation than you will in a lower end foundation. And one more thing that I want to say before um, I get into this, I would stay away for, from mixing foundations if you're darker skinned. Try to find a foundation that actually matches you because when you start mixing, you can get streaky and if you're not an MUA, you will probably have some problems with that. I never mix foundations ever. I only wear the color that matches me. If it doesn't match me, I don't wear it. 
Now, um, one of the, the, the go-to uh, foundations, was a CC cream that I use, is the Queen Latifah, um, this is the Queen Latifah brand, CC cream. But I want you to know that this is the darkest shade. So look at me right now. This is the darkest shade. So if you're darker than me, like if you pull in a Lupita, you're not going to get nothing in uh, CoverGirl. And that's what kind of frustrates me with these brands because it's like, you know, they will put a Halle Berry and a Beyonce and a Rihanna who are like all lighter skin and they're like, yeah, you know, African-American girl friendly. But them chicks is the same color as my palm. So like they're not making colors for us. So again, um, this one is really good. This is not suggested for long-term wear. Um, for me, I will wear this um, when I have to go somewhere quickly and I know that I might have to take a few selfies because this takes uh, photos really, really well. Um, and again, this does not last long, so you would have to use a primer that would maybe um, keep you a bit matte. This gives you more of a matte looking finish to me, but it doesn't stay matte. It kind of um, greases up after a while, so yeah, you'd have to wear a primer with this one. But this is like um, $6.49, somewhere around there, so you understand what you're getting for your money, right? Cool. Alright, so my next El Cheapos are... Uh, these two from Maybelline so these two give you different finishes and that's what I want to say as well depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going I may want a particular looking finish so most days I opt for a dewy finish but I have to be careful because I'm greasy so it's like all these combinations but yeah um, I prefer a dewy looking finish because I don't want to look like I am beat to death to walk on the road. I like that more natural look, which is why I will go with a dewy finish. In summertime, I will more so go with a matte finish. So these are the Fit Me from Maybelline. Again, darkest shades right here. This is 360 Mocha. Um, the Queen Latifah is, um, it is the Q640 Sheer Espresso. So they always use these coffee colored names like what is that? where's Mobby and all that sorrow. Yeah, so yeah, these two here under ten dollars as well. Um, these shades, the 360 in the poreless is not available in Canada. Queen Latifah is not available in Canada, so I know that as well. Um, but the Fit Me, Lord have mercy, this thing here is like a oh, a woman in a bottle. I don't know what they did to make this like this, but it's like I can wear this five six hours easily and this does not even like let out an ounce of sweat i don't wear these when i am doing performances and appearances but i wear these to work and these give me a very very extremely natural look like this is the one you might have seen me jamming to in a car the other day on my uh, instagram because um yeah this is what i was really really trying out in the summer because i got this one um, in the winter and I want to know how it was going to stand up in the heat and this week in Toronto it was like 31 degrees Celsius so this stood the test um, I really like the two of these again they're the darkest shades right now so if you're darker than me you may not find success with these uh, they blend in really well with a brush etc like they, these are really really good so again under ten dollars and these ones are good um, another El Cheapo one. Oh yeah this is the last El Cheapo this is um, Milani 2-in-1 concealer. This here, for $10, this could rival some up, upper scale brand, brand name people. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this here. This here is like, wow, it's 2-in-1. And why I like it is because um, I like the pump part. Because, you know, when you have a pump, you save um, product and you're not just throwing it around the Queen Latifah and the Maybelline have no pump on it so this here is um, a dewier finish you're not going to be matte all day but for ten dollars you know what I mean you have to you have to work with it this here if you have like a kid's birthday party to go to you know some um, type of event where it's going to be outdoors in the day and you don't want to have like that smoky eye the the diva lashes this here is something that you need to try again darkest shade this is golden toffee number 14 darkest shade so know that they don't have a lot of dark skin friendly in these lower end um makeups uh foundations as well now let me go to my higher end swear buys like this is one these are the ones that i will swear by um this is the match master from mac 
You don't hear people talk about Mac a lot. You don't hear them talking about because all these other new companies, I don't know if it's the marketing, I don't know what it is. But this right here, let me tell you something. This is my performance makeup. So when you see me at a show and you see me like lash, lashes out diva look, I have on this right here. And this thing here does not budge. Um, I can wear this um, all night. I never even used primers with this and I never got greasy. This here is is the shizzle like I love this um this is not a um, makeup to wear to work or on the road and for me and my personal preference I don't like looking overdone because you look foolish to me like so if you're going to a little kids event and you have on heels and diva lash, like I don't do that I, I let me let me dress for the occasion um, this here is not to be wearing to work and unless you're a makeup artist or something like that but if you're somebody working in the office and you're wearing this you will look beat to death with this on this is going to give you a beat look this is a beat right here telling me that so be careful with that one um this one the lab oh the match master sorry this is in 9.0 and i struggled with mac lately because they've made some changes to their shades there's two shades darker than this in mac so but their other pressed powders and stuff, I'm not the greatest fan of them because they change the color um, arrangements and it's not working the way that it should. Let me pull this one here. Oh, that's driving me crazy. Thank you. That, now, this is Lancome. This one here, I love this. I wear this to work when I have meetings and um, presentations. This is bleed free. What does that mean? So like I work with paper and typing. Well, I don't type. I, I'm not a data entry person. I'm a BA. So I type. Well, uh, so what with this, I would notice like with makeup when I started wearing makeup is if I touch something white, you would see the brown residues on it. This here does not bleed at all. This is the Lancome um, 24 hour tint idol ultra. And um, the color for this, I am pretty sure this is 550 suede. So for this, um, there is some shades darker again because you know Lupita is some steps down on me and shade. She she endorses this brand. This here is going to give you a matte matte day. This is long wearing. It says 24 hours. I've never been that nasty and not washed my face for 24 hours. But this here is for me. If you have a daytime event that's long so if you're going to grooving in the park reggae on the hill some fest or something like that where you're gonna be outside for a long time i would rock this one right here this this is gonna give you a very matte finish for the for the majority of the day and it doesn't bleed so this is a very 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 good foundation especially for darker women because for me whatever whenever i put this on it just looks like my skin it doesn't even look like i have on anything um, this is the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick. I don't know who made this. Well, let me actually do the two of them together. This is the Makeup Forever HD, and this is the Foundation Stick. These were made by somebody who works with Obia and Black Magic because I don't know what these Makeup Forever people are doing, but they got they shit together. Now, the stick. This stick will give you the glowing look like you're in love or you're pregnant that's probably why some people thought i was pregnant from the other day because this here this will make you glow this is like a very nice dewy satiny finish for me and um this i uh, yo let me tell you something i swear by this and this color is 180 r 530 i don't know if you're gonna be able to zoom in and see that because you know it's my first time doing this kind of check this shit out thing so um yo this here, load. I don't go nowhere without this. I actually walk with these in my bag because I'm just like, if I have to, I love this. This is the best invention I've ever seen in my entire life. And this is Makeup Forever HD. This is my video camera makeup. This was actually specifically designed for um, video camera, which is why it's like HD. I don't know what this is, but this here, 
I will not do a video without this. If I have to go and do a video drop, I, I, I need this in my life. I don't go nowhere without this either because this here just gives you that flawless airbrushed finish. Um, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this foundation right here. And I don't go, no I'm wearing it right now. Like I do not ever do a video without this. This is my, um, this is my, this is, oh Lord, this is my holy grail. And the only reason why I don't wear this one to work is because I have other ones that are kind of substitutes. Like for me, the matteless and poreless is a bit of a substitution for this because I wear this for video and then I'll wear this to work. So because this is cheaper and I can get it and run it out a little bit more, I'll use this one. But um, this one here on a video, video pictures, video, flashback drama, whatever, I don't know, they designed this for photography and for video and I absolutely love it. Now I have a go-to um, powder cream kind of foundation which is the um, Urban Decay brand, I don't know if you can see that, and it's in this kind of a case right here and this is the cream foundation that I wear, this is what I wear when I am in um, Grenada Barbados in the day and you see me walking around and you're like oh my god Babsy skin looks gorgeous I took a selfie with that this here again photographer photographer photos well uh videos well um because it's a powder and a cream you do have to touch up throughout the day with this but if you're just doing something that's gonna be you know high visual but not long this is amazing um, and this again you know the makeup forever is in the $40 ranges the Lancome is in the $50 range um, and this is in the $40 range as well um, somewhere around there so I, I don't have the exact price I guess some of y'all got coupons and some of y'all got big bras that it is teeth I don't know but this one here if you just want to be walking around and have something light in your purse this here is it or this here is it I, I these two I don't know I I'm kind of in love with all of them and I do have two go-to powders well three um, go-to powders um, lower end is the Revlon nearly naked um this doesn't photograph well but this will keep your skin dry and matte for a good portion of the day so I may wear this over top of the stay matte depending on where I'm going but this this here is not photography friendly at all the last two that I swear by are the makeup forever the dual matte Lord have mercy you could actually wear this by um, itself if you have extremely good skin this is really 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 good and I have the deep dark um, mineralized skin finish by Mac so these two and this color here is the 218 and sorry I didn't say the color for the Revlon it is the darkest shade which is deep so again this is the darkest color you're gonna get uh, the dual matte in makeup forever there are shades darker than this makeup forever does make darker colors um, Lancome does as well and this is the darkest one in Mac so um, yeah you um, could probably see that and compared to this so um, these are the ones that I tend to put on over my makeup and depending which which foundation I'm wearing I might put on this one or I might put on this one um, I would tend to more so wear this to go to work for that satiny finish and then this one if I have to stay matte and do something that's out in the sun or whatever so there you have it the rundown um these again are in the $40 range so you know if you want to look good you might have to spend a little bit of money. That cheaper El Cheapo makeup, um, you know, it may not give you the best um, longevity. Um, it may not be the best like this here. You do not want to photo do photography or photograph with this. Do not do a selfie with this. Do not do nothing with this. This here will make you look like Little Richard. But when it's on without the flash, you look extremely good. So depending on what you do for a living, you don't want to be out here with this. Um, as I said, you need to try foundations on and wear them for uh, a bit of period of time because people don't tell you that. Like color matching is just one part of it. Um, it's your skin type, how it oxidizes on your skin, you know, how 
the color looks on your skin and if you want to go to the um, El Cheapo departments as I call it what you need to do the tip that you should do is again take the foundation that's in the sample that you get from the, the, the um, department store and bring that so you can shade match it's better than doing that than be in the department store rubbing all these things like you could look at the two colors as that's what I do so like how I knew the Lancome was going to match me was because I had the CoverGirl the CoverGirl Queen one with me and I was like this these two are the same exact color so um, I knew that they were gonna match so you know getting the the testing done with the the higher end one and then you're like okay you want to find a dupe the same way I dupe the Maybelline one with the Lancome one you know at the end of the day or the makeup HD sorry uh, at the end of the day you want to make sure that you are not out here wearing the wrong type of foundation for the the wrong occasion like I just am uh, not a fan of when I see women especially I see this in Barbados a lot like they have on a nurse outfit scrub and then their face is beat and I'm like your nurse why are you going to work looking like that like put on a foundation that looks natural you look like you're ready to rip the runway but why are you wearing nurse scrubs so like I'm very I, I like to look the way I look for the occasion I don't want my hair to look fake you notice it's not my hair but you want to see where it's stitch on and where like I don't want you to see that I have tracks in my head what's the point of wearing weave if you're gonna show your tracks makes no sense so what's the point of wearing makeup for every day for your everyday look and you can see that you have on makeup people don't even know I have on makeup most days most times they see me in the car and they see me driving like your skin's flawless and it's like I do have something on now always remember this and I want you to understand this before I go what's underneath the foundation you need to work on because if you have pores that are huge, blackheads, whiteheads, acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, you need to address those issues. Makeup is only going to temporarily cover that. Take that from somebody who in my early 20s had the most atrocious skin in the world. And you're probably looking at me like right now and you're like, whatever, Babsy. I actually even wrote a book about it. I'll put the link right here. Click on it and that's going to give you the step-by-step -step, um, skincare routine on how I got the hyperpigmentation from picking zits and I'm one of those people even if you don't pick the zit it gonna turn black that's how bad it is so for me I'm on top of my skincare regimen I'm one of those people that are like the day I miss my skincare regimen my skin gonna fuck up that's just how it is um, you know there's some people who can eat um, cheesecake and never gain a pound there's some people that can wash their face with with um, Dettol soap and nothing happens to them, I'm not that person. The minute I do the wrong thing in my routine, I'm going to break out and look crazy out here. So get that book and look at the step-by-step -step, um, um, routine that I did to fix a whole slew of issues. A lot of people want to know what I um, wash my face with and do in the morning and the, the smaller skincare routine that's just to get me through the day. If you want to see that in a video, leave a comment and let me know. So anyhow, very first video on this channel I'm glad that I'm finally getting it up and running because this has been something I wanted to do for a very long time so again I'm just gonna be talking about you know what I did with my hair and the curling wand I might have used and these things I'm not out here trying to push products on nobody I'm not out here trying to hustle nobody I just want you to know like some of the situations that I face especially being darker skin it's very hard to find makeup and matching and all these things out here so Make sure you're following me. If you haven't um, subscribed to me on this channel, subscribe now. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me over there. And I'm over there in Snapchat too. Somebody help me with Snapchat because I'm out here confused, yo. I am out here confused. Anyways, mwah, love everybody. See you guys next week. I'll probably do the primer video or I might do the, the skincare video. Tell me which one you want to see first. All right, later.